His 16th question, what does Kabbalah have to do with memory castles? And I say, the act of doing Kabbalah begins with constructing and maintaining memory castles. A memory castle is just a mental map for storing mnemonic referentials for later recollection. So we could say the 10 sephira on the tree of life diagram may be like rooms in such a castle and the 22 paths like hallways between them. Just as the sephira are wrongly associated with the planets and the paths obtusely with the tarot trump cards, so one could imagine a memory castle wherein the hallways are decorated with the trumps and the rooms dressed alike the planets and so forth. The most common attribute of memory castles is a stairway or elevator for burying unpleasant or irrelevant memories beneath pleasant and useful ones. Although such an imposition of classism into the architectures of the mind is not truly necessary. Likewise, the working tools of the craft of Freemasonry are meant to help the applicant sculpt their memory from a rough into a perfect form of ashlar, a mortarless brick. But insofar as such mental blocks are not necessary in constructing a memory castle or memory palace, all their methods, however ethical and moral, remain merely optional.